Richmond Highway in the south side is now back open to traffic. You can see it was closed for about three hours this morning. Around 7.30 a.m., police say a man about to board a GRTC bus from this stop died from a gunshot wound. Our photojournalist, A.J. Nuoko, spoke to one witness by phone who said she was both shocked and terrified. So at approximately 728 this morning, officers were called to the 0, 0, 0000 block of Richmond Highway for the report of a person shot. I was in the car, was on my way to work, and I saw a person with one gun, and I already hear, boom, 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 boom. Officers arrived and found a male uh, at the rear door of a GRTC bus. He had suffered uh, an apparent gunshot wound and was pronounced dead at the scene. And he just got out of the bus, just ran across another street on the side of the road with the gun. Detectives also know that there were uh, some passengers on the bus at the time. Everybody was screaming and running off the bus. Uh, some passengers may have left the area. Detectives really hope that they uh, call in uh, with their information uh, for what they saw at the time of the shooting. Detectives are working this uh, death investigation right now, and of course, any information is uh, very important. Yeah, like a black ski mask on, has some blue jeans. He would just run it with the gun. All you see is like a clock. The individual was preparing to board the bus at the GRTC bus stop the time at the time he was shot. So this could be the bit of information that can help uh, maybe a, a passerby, a witness, uh, uh, someone that, that was on the bus. Um, really uh, prepare them to come forward with their information. Uh, they certainly have no one in custody at this time, and uh, right now they're still gathering their material, the video sources from the businesses, the video sources from the GRTC bus, but right now uh, we just have the basic information. We live in the Wild West right now. It's a traumatized for me. I'm still shaking to this day right now. GRTC sent out a statement expressing condolences to the family of the victim. That person has still not been identified publicly. And while this is still considered a death investigation, Richmond has already had 52 homicides so far in 2023. Live in Richmond, Bree Season, CBS 6 News.